Good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to do a quick little video on the Mazda Speed 3, Mazda Speed 6 2.3 DSI motor, turbocharged motor, and how to diagnose rod knock. It, it appears that this is a pretty common problem that, that plagues these motors, and I haven't seen a video really on, on how to diagnose it specific to these motors. So, as you can tell already, I already have the top mount intercooler removed and the coils and the spark plugs. All right. I'm going to be using this oil stick and I'm going to be putting it at cylinder number one. Okay. So, now the goal is to get piston number one in top dead center. All right, we'll be doing that by taking this wheel off and using a half inch ratchet, ratchet and I believe this is a number 21 millimeter. I'm gonna be spinning it clockwise. As I sp spin it, I'm watching the dipstick. A little difficult here trying to spin this and uh, Hold the camera. See as you see it going down. It's gonna start going up. Continue doing this until she starts going back down. There. Now I went. The piston went to top dead center and then a little past it. So it's on the downward end of it. I'm gonna stick the longest screwdriver I have and just sit in the piston like so. Two things we're looking for here. One, we wanna hear like a metal on metal clank and the screwdriver to go down. I know piston number one is good. Now, the, the rod bearing in question would be number two. So I'm gonna stick my oil dipstick in cylinder number two and do this process again. Again, I need to get it top dead center. It is going up. Looks like it stopped going up. Now it's on the downward. Remove my dipstick. Put in my screwdriver. All right, folks. <laughs> Pay attention real quick. Remember, we're listening for the sound and for the screwdriver to get buried. Ready? All right, you guys all saw that? I hope you heard it. So now I know that the rod bearing on cylinder number two is shot. All right, guys. Thanks a lot.